today is our annual Sandia Festival. Sandia, of course, is watermelon. I'm on my way to grab drinks for everyone. They just started carving, so we'll get a few shots of them carving and see what they carve. That should be fun. And then after that is the watermelon eating contest, which should be very messy. I will not be participating in that, but uh, should be fun. All right, mayong uh, hapon, panwasan roton, and of course mayong hapon sa tanatong yung mga bisita sa buong hapon. This is another great uh, Wednesday afternoon as we celebrate our Zandia Festival 2017. We're wrapping all the tables in plastic because this could get messy. Still a lot back here behind me, but look in front of me. They set up shade tents, they set up chairs, and nobody will use them. The carving competition has started. They have two hours to carve, and I have always just really been fascinated by this. I've never been able to do it, but I love seeing it, and then really watching them do it is really fun. I'm doing my best to stay out of the judges way while taking pictures and the judges seem to appreciate that some people are not staying out of the way this section right here you got a few high school kids and man, they almost should have two different age groups because these kids did really well I mean much better than I could ever have done but they couldn't really compete with some of the older participants they should have had two age groups I think but all of it turned out really well we've got a good crowd now but some ama you know as I said that the cool amount actually uh, Mayuna, and of course, as I said, there's still West almost no one to sponsor today's event. But still, in the seats. on hindsight, naka why they want to sit in the seats, kami, I do not know. Kami, but this is like um, a little amphitheater I thought that it was also a wise decision. Seats built um, into the ground. It works out. After seeing a fair, we wouldn't know where to go. Well, Oton is uh, known as the uh, Sandia capital of the Philippines. We're seeing some good progress. Now you can see some of the, well, I was going to say simpler. None of them are simple to me. But some of them that look like they're going to be a single melon like the flowers you can tell what they're going to be, and they look very nice. Some of the more complex ones, you can tell they're using two or three melons for their carving. It's hard to tell what they're making yet, so we'll keep an eye on it and see what comes out. All right. So ari na nga ato noon sa mga participants para maghabab sa ngaton sandia. So lantawan nyo kung paano mag uh, ala harvester ang taga uton. So ari na. On my mark. All right. Ready. Get set. Go.
So, kanilang na sa Bia, isulod sa plastic. Sulod sa plastic. And then, kapitin nyo ang inyong plastic. We've got watermelon laid out everywhere. And they're going around slicing it up. And it's going to get... Not sure how it's going to work, but they're going to release everybody to come eat. I am unsure how organized this feeding is going to be. The less organized, the more fun, but messy. We'll find out. Well, it turned out to be a free-for-all, which is kind of what I expected. But it wasn't as messy as I thought it was going to be, because there is a ton of watermelon. Everybody got as much as they wanted and they never came close to running out. You just had to watch out because some of them were attracting ants. But even you can see the police getting watermelon. Even the foreigner got watermelon. And I was the only foreigner I saw today. I thought that was odd because there's plenty of us in town. But the watermelon was quite yummy. It always tastes better when it's free. Although I really prefer yellow watermelon over the red. Everybody's taking lots of watermelons home with them. Even the carved ones. The people that carved them left. So the people are taking the carved ones. But they're taking armloads of watermelons. There's tons left over of the cut melon. We took a small bag of cut melon home with us, but we didn't get greedy. We only took four or five pieces. Um, when we left, there was just unbelievable amounts of it left over. Uh, fun was had by all. Unfortunately, on the carving contest, they announced the winner by name, not by number. So I have no idea who won. But here's some pictures of what they finally came up with. And some of it was pretty cool. I've always liked to learn something like this and just never have. You know, I've got a lot of free time. Maybe I should now. Um, it's just, I've always really enjoyed watching this and seeing the, the work being done. Fun was had by all. This is an annual event, so we will be sure to come back next year and do it again. Because free watermelon is always good. Enjoy your day in paradise.